All right, guys, who's the best nation? Let's take a peek. Let's take a look. Um, it's all going to be based on opinion, but I know I'm right. Personally, I started with the Romans, and after a year plus, maybe longer, playing this game, I would choose the Romans again and again. I just, that 10% army size is just, you can't, you can't discredit that. That is a special thing, and that 10% is always going to be 10%, but as you grow through and you get deeper in the game, that 10% grows because every age you get more troop capacity. I mean, it's just as simple as that. So as long as that number is increasing, my 10% will be bigger because I'm getting 10% of a bigger number. So that's going to be even better as the ages grow longer. But let's go through it. I mean, just like you, you know, I picked, I, I went through all of these. I would not choose the Chinese. I mean, the extra citizen doesn't mean anything um, deeper in the game. I mean, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Um, the mercenary camp increase, personally, I don't think that's going to compare to my 10%. Because, as you know, with my, as you build an army to attack, you're creating your loadout, I choose what I make. So whatever that 10% brings me, whatever I desire, I'm gonna get an extra tank or an extra, uh, maybe some extra foot, um, ranged uh, soldiers, um, get another medic, who knows? But I get to choose. And you're at the mercy of what's available in the mercenary camp and how much resources you have. So, Personally, I don't really see a huge thing there. You can't argue that that's a good thing. I mean, it's a good thing, but you can't argue that it's better when you think when you line it up against the Romans' 10% army increase. Um, bonus defenders, that doesn't mean anything. I mean, you're getting one per age, but personally, as long as you set your base up correctly, I mean, you won't even see a need. You won't even, you know, see a huge impact on that. British, I would totally say no in a heartbeat. Increases stolen, um, the loot that's stolen per attack. I mean, that's great, but every unit, every nation can do that. Um, you know, you maximize your effort in the museum. You got it there. You're getting it automatically. As well as your blessing. They made a blessing in this game do just that. Increases the loot stolen. So, personally, no. French, I don't know. Some say may be one of the best tanks. Who knows? Um, I know that they're, it's said that they have longer, like, their range is longer. But I don't know. Would I be the French based on just that? No. Because we, we could look at it. Um, it reduces the time to train. That isn't an issue for me. For anyone that plays this game... You're getting crowns and you can use them strategically like sometimes when i'm in a pinch for time it's war time i want to you know help out my alliance and make two attacks i make my attack and then immediately use my crowns to speed up the uh the training and make a second attack so really that's what i use my crowns for it's pretty rare for me to use my crowns for anything else so that's why i leverage my crowns on that front increases the maximum allied army size okay well that three has got nothing on my 10 percent and again you are at the mercy of your allies i mean you they basically choose what they give you so um i mean you you can request request something specific but i mean people don't really read that they don't really pay attention they just give you what they can which is much appreciated but no, I don't think there's any benefit with being the French. The Germans, off the top, I mean, it looks very appealing. But when I'm in an attack, and I do use my rally multiple times per attack, there's never really a time where I'm like, I wish my rally was faster. Like, I don't know, I'm a successful attacker, I just don't. As long as you put out your, your loadout correctly for your attacks, I mean, it's going to be no... You're not going to really see a, an issue there. 
That bonus troop damage may be pretty significant because 15% is no joke. You have to win once, and then you got to go back and create a, uh, a new army f for it to work. But, I mean, that's pretty strong. So Germans are not bad. Greeks, no. I mean, some people may say this is the best tank in the game. Maybe even more so than the French, but refunds part of your upgrade costs. So that's not a huge issue for me. I mean, when I spend the money to upgrade, I spend it. You know, I'm not really looking for anything back there. Them getting something back, I don't, and, eh, I mean, it's just, uh, whatever. Um, the instantly finish upgrades and general, um, the general recovery. Well, I don't know if that's even that big of a deal. Maybe the general recovery might, you might see a huge difference and it might be nice, but to choose the Greeks based on that and their superior tank doesn't make them a superior nation. I mean, it's all about the player in the game. Um, so, you know, if you're a player and you, you know, you can make anyone better than them. You can make, you can make any nation great and you don't really need these guys' these perks or the benefits. It's not that big of a deal. Funny thing about the Japanese is um, I downloaded this app on my tablet, Android tablet. And um, I have an iPhone, so I did the same thing on my iPhone. On my tablet, obviously, I was started at the Romans. I'm the Romans now. But for some reason, I chose the Japanese. And I can't really, I don't understand what I was thinking. It's misleading. The mighty defenses. You're not getting a bonus to towers or anything like that, at least that I'm aware of doesn't say that here it just says that your town center shoots at invaders i mean come on i mean that's i don't think that's a huge thing and peace treaties that's no big deal either because i mean you're getting 25 percent increase but as long as you set up your base correctly and i did make another video on that you're not gonna have an you're not gonna see it you're not gonna need peace treaties like that having longer ones because what you do is you just put your your base out there let them attack the base, protect your resources. They earn the two stars, maybe more. They might take your, you know, take a five star hit on you. But what often happens to me, at least, I could take two stars, and then I'm immediately on a peace treaty, and I maximize that peace treaty by, you know, getting my army ready, upgrading, protecting my, you know, saving my resources. So I, I don't see an issue there, and I don't see a benefit in that at all. Koreans, no. Again, if you're using your museum and you're maximizing your effort there, that refund, that loot refund doesn't really mean anything. 10%, I mean, I can do that in the museum. And there's also a blessing that you can do. And that you can increase, um, increase that, that uh, the effectiveness of the blessing through your university. So really, that's no big deal. And the maximum... Um, the increase in the maximum war tactics capacity, that's not big. I mean, plus three would be big. I would consider Koreans if that was plus three, but or that ain't never going to happen. So that plus 10%, I mean, it's the best. That larger army is really special. My, you know, unique unit I don't really use. I mean, I guess he's he comes out of here for the defense, so I guess that's a bonus. You got some extra health there. I mean, being Roman, let's see if it's impacted my attacks here. Let's see. Um, I don't really look at my attacks, so let's take a look. All right, here's a defeat. Okay, it does happen. Whoops. Let's see what we got. A lot of victories here. Let's just... Yeah, so I'm getting victories. There's a lot of victories here. But that doesn't really impress me. What impresses me about my performance is the resources I'm getting. So yeah, I'm getting medals and I'm getting my stars. I'm winning, which is always a good thing. But it appears that I'm getting solid uh, resources. Whoops. Whoops. Uh, let's find a defeat. Let's find some more defeats. Let's see. Attack. There's that one defeat. I'm at the top. Okay, let's scroll down. Dude. Okay. 
Just be gentle or something on this thing. Wow. Well, the point being, yeah, I got a lot of victories here. Oh, my goodness. All victories. Let's find some defeats. Jesus. Wow. I haven't seen a defeat yet. Hmm. There's a defeat. No credits. Two. A lot of victories. I like that. Okay, here's three. So, I mean, as you can see, I got a lot of victories. In my most recent history of attacks, a lot of victories, man. So, Romans, two thumbs up. I personally think they're the best. So I'm going to continue being them. And I had a moment where I did want to try another. I wanted to spend 600 uh, crowns to, to switch, but I really was like, no. Nah. I thought about it, and I was like, nope. So I'm really glad I didn't. And for all those that are still here, let's take a look at my museum. You know, I love showing it off. You know, I love it. Look at these units, these pieces. Whoops. Love that. Proud of that. In fact, um, I'm looking forward to the day. I'm excited for the day when I make a video and it's going to say, like, negative 70% defender spawn time. Like, I can't wait. My, I don't know what it's gonna say. I don't know what's gonna be the end number, but I think it's gonna be around 50, maybe more. And then you got this bad boy right here with an extra 20%. And then one thing I didn't notice is the defender health. You got that there, right? You got that as well. So that's pretty sweet. Anyway, guys, there, there it is. There you have it. I think the Romans are the best. And my performance is strong. I'm real happy about that. I do love this game. So, I don't know. I go with Romans.